we what's going on youtube it's dive all day so um here's the deal I, I was looking up random knife questions or, or common knife questions i should say not random the most common questions people either ask should know or need to know about their knife buying and carrying decisions so i have this list here um it, it's basically like uh what's the best shape what's the best steel what's the best grip what how about things with certain things to go with certain things and, and we'll, we'll go over some of this so first and foremost the very first thing we're going to talk about when you're looking at buying a knife is legality if it's a knife you plan on carrying and making your uh making your daily bring with you i'm gonna pick up one of my own designs um make sure it's legal in your state like i know where i am right now this is completely illegal to carry i don't really care about that personally but you might so be very very be very very careful when it comes to carrying something especially with pointy knuckles and double-edged and both are illegal in a uh, in a very liberal uh and non-free American free state. So, um, so that is that is very important first, just to get over um, about what is what legal matters. Another thing is, people always ask, should I go with a fixed blade or should I go with a folding blade? And a lot of that matters how you plan on using the knife, because with a fixed blade, I know I can do things like pry and and wedge things out and I can use it for fishing for digging out grubs and and things like that which would be important if that's what I needed it for if you were talking about a knife to open packages to whittle with carve stuff with um, or even just to better conceal which another big one um, you want to go with a folding knife a folding knife unlike a fixed blade where most fixed blades are going to have to attach somewhere. Can you find a stick, uh, a stick blade, a fixed blade? Yeah, I have plenty of them that you can ride right in your pocket and have a pocket fixed blade. No problem. But for, for the most part, fixed blades are going to come with sheaths that are going to attach to a belt and dangle from you, which could bring on um, unwanted attention. Where folding knives, generally the only thing people could see and might see is a little clip dangling from out of your pocket um, but if you're looking for convenience and carry as far as the public it, it, this is it you don't need a belt you, you don't really you don't even need pockets you can go right to your waistband um, if you're a nudist you can do it to your sandals um, but there's always always a way to carry a, uh, a folding blade where a fixed blade you are just a little bit more limited so another big um question is ah sticking with this this topic of of folders um what's the best folding uh, locking mechanism i should say if you have gloves and and this is this one's kind of tricky because not all gloves are considered equal you know or, or you know are are equal in thickness and and, and uh, the ability to use them in tight quarters. A liner lock is generally going to not be good with gloves on. Almost almost no kind of glove with a liner lock. Something like this, where it has a plunger lock on it, can be used. But if you're using big, thick work gloves, things like that, you might have trouble getting a good grip on something like that. Um, liners, uh, frame locks, things like that. Anything you have to be able to get into something could be a little tricky. Even push button, uh, push buttons. If your glove is really thick, you might not be able to get directly onto that button. Where pretty much any glove is going to work is going to be any kind of classic spine lock where all you have to do is press down and close. So if you plan on using a folding knife where you're either going to be working a lot wearing gloves or it's gonna be really cold and you're wearing gloves, you might wanna find something with a spine lock to really make life easy for yourself. Um, so let's see, the uh, 
grips, 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 grips. I actually did a video recently where I talk about grips um, and the importance of the material. But if you were going to say, what's the most well-rounded grip? What should I take above anything else? There's really two. Um, Micarta, which you're going to see there. Any kind of linen Micarta is just going to be absolutely great in the grip. Um, Micarta just works out no matter what it's super grippy it's great in all weathers fantastic stuff the other one g10 g10 can be some of the grippiest stuff you'll ever get you can get a g10 that's as grippy as rubber without it being cheap rubber you can have a fantastic grip with g10 is it the best in wet weather no but is it good in wet weather yes um Wet weather and cold weather, G10 is very, very good. Micarta is still a little bit over that hump, but in wet and cold weather, G10 is very, very, very good. Um, so, that if, if you're going to have a knife and you want a well-rounded scale, stick with G10 or Micarta. Bada boom, bada bing. So, next would be um, best blade shape. It, and this is like the best all-round blade shape. Like if you were just going to have an absolute multi-use one blade shape to cover it all, it's going to be a drop point. The drop point is the most um, versatile blade shape there is. You could do, I can skin with a skin with a drop. I could chop with a drop. I could stab with a drop. You can see it's got a nice still point. And some drops are thicker. There's more leaf shaped. And maybe they're not going to penetrate as, as well as something like a thinner one. Um, but it can always still be done. Even even my own um, drop point, uh, which is down here somewhere. Um, well, anyway, I, I was going to show it to you. But I will show it to you. All right. I had it. All right, so drop points. You see, this is a very pointy drop point. Great for stabbing. This it is just an immaculate and amazing all-round knife shape, and I mean all-around knife shape. Now, what I where I was gonna reach to, ooh, was right here, was my D-Bad Camp Master. This is my first very true um, camp knife, specifically uh, my first camp knife design that is specifically camp. You'll notice that it is not as pointy as a drop point, but as a drop point, even thick, you can see where that comes through. Your penetration is still going to be the same. It's going to get through very, very easily. So no matter how your drop point is shaped, as long as it's a drop point, you're going to be okay. Even this is one of those knives I classify as one of the perfect knives, the Outpost Command from Tops. And I'm going to show you a couple variants of really nice drop points. This is the D-Bad Little Big Man. It's a drop kind of modified clip. You'll notice how it cuts, but still that shape right there is going to, that's an every task done kind of knife. Um, Condor uh, puts out the Toki. There is a very round drop point, but still you can see it dips here, dips there, or rises there, and you're still going to have great penetration. And the last one, um, I'll bring out is not a drop point, but the mod it's a modified um, Tonto, kind of reverse Tonto, but it works just like, and this is one of my designs, but it, it works just like a drop point. So if you're going to, if you're going to say, I need one knife shape that's going to literally handle anything, then, then uh, the drop point is the way to go. It, it's going to be able to handle pretty much anything and everything or everything and anything not pretty much um outside of that um the the last one we'll go over is blade steel everybody always oh what's the per there's no perfect blade steel there's no a lot of people are jumping on the whole magna cut thing and a lot of people jump on um a whole bunch of all these like uh fancy freaky dicky knife steels uh let me tell you when it comes to knife steels there's two things you want to worry about um corrosion and edge retention that's it that's like the the two things 
once you have a good heat treat, then that's going to predict the strength. The steel doesn't say, okay, this is a strong steel or a weak steel. If I had 440C or even 440 or 420A and with a great heat treat, I could put it up against any MagnaCut or Bowler M390 with a bad heat treat. And the and the cheap stuff will, will perform better. You know what I mean? It really comes down to when it talking when you're talking about strength, comes down to that. Now with a carbon blade, you're gonna get better edge retention, and with a stainless blade, you're gonna get better corrosion resistance. So finding that balance, and I'll pick on one of mine again. Um, D2, D2 is a great great all round steel. It's strong. It stays sharp. It's very easy to maintain. Um, D2 is a extremely, extremely wonderful steel for all that. And um, it's easy to hone. You know what I mean? It's not one of these crazy, crazy steels. And you have other stuff like um, uh, S, uh, S30V. Uh, I just mentioned um, uh, Bowler M390. And then you have your Carpenter steels. Things like that. But for me one of the great all-round steels is without a doubt 100 d2 i just picked up this one and this one both d2 knives um it is a wonderful wonderful knife steel when you're talking about um you know all around the board type stuff even 1095 would be a, would be a great steel um and 440c is a great steel um the problem is you just have to sharpen that one a little bit more but heat treat heat treat heat treat is what it really comes down to so when you're talking about for me if i was going to say okay what's the perfect knife for me it's going to be it's going to be a drop point um it's going to be a, a drop point maybe um a d2 steel this one's not d2 um a d2 drop point this one is uh what is it 90 uh, oh n690 um it's a great steel but the perfect for me would be a micarta gripped drop point with d2 steel um and probably probably a fixed but if i was going to go with a a um folding knife it would be a micarta with a uh, spine lock with d2 as a matter of fact i didn't even think about it, my i just develop my first folding knife that's going to be coming out soon and it is d2 with a spine lock and it's either do i have micarta or g10 on there i can't remember it's either micarta or g10 i forget what i what i had him do it in but um it's because it would be for me the perfect all-round knife you know what i mean and it does have a, it has a modified drop point so, um, well, actually, it's a drop point with a modified spine, actually. So, it's still a drop point D2. It covers all my boxes. I didn't even realize it. Um, D2, spine lock, drop point, folder, perfectness. Just awesome. And the same thing with a uh, with my military combat knife, which is D2, drop point, micarta. It, it's a knife that I designed. Hold on a second. Hold on. I keep forgetting, man. So this is one, and I, I my folder is going to have Micarta. So it will be, my folder is going to be Micarta, Spine Lock, D2, Drop Point. Everything that I just said, and I didn't even realize that that's how I built my folder, and I didn't realize that that's how I built this one. So with a fixed blade, and I built this to be my version of a perfect military combat knife, being a combat guy, I have some pretty good insight. But Drop Point, D2 Steel, Micarta Scales. I mean, I'm not just talking out of my butt. If I was going to develop a knife that I thought would be perfect, Macarta Scales Drop Point D2 Steel. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty simple. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, and a, a lot of it, uh, you know, a lot of people, it, it's just going to come down to preference too. Maybe you don't like the look of a Drop Point. Maybe you'd rather a Clipper or, or a Tonto or something else. That's fine. That's fine. These are just... Um, it, it, it the most uh, versatile shape is the drop point. So if you don't care about versatility, if you're just if you're saying, hey, what's the best blade shape to go with to do anything with, and I say it's a drop point, and you go, okay, I don't like drop points. Well, then that's on you. Um, but 
that's it. Those are some of the, the mainly asked knife questions. And that is the best answer I can give you because they're all the right answer. All right, so that's it for this one. I am Donnie B. All Day. Till next video.